Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. Today I'm going to share with you my newly completed album, which features Lou Fern's Life's Vignette. Isn't this pretty? So the cover features 12 by 12, and um, this is 8.5 by 8.5 by 2.5. The pocket pages are 8 by 8. So there's the cover, and I added um, some dimension and some layers here the spine, and the back. Okay. On the inside, I have this nice large fat pocket with four card photo mats in it. So there's tons of room for photos right here. Here's page one where I've layered this um, ephemera die cut. And then I've double matted the photo space and I popped and added this little curl from the collection. Each one of the pocket pages contains a very large photo mat um, for additional photos. And I was able to cover both the front and back. And then here's page two and three. Added a little bit of twine from my stash. This is also from my stash. Everything else you see is from the collection. Um, I did add these textured photo mats. I think it adds a lot of uh, interest to the page. Any kind of an organic shape will work. Um, it does, as long as it's, you stay away from anything that's geometric, stay away from squares, right angles, and uh, things like that. So if it's organic circles, um, ovals, uh, things like that, um, leaves, anything, flowers. There we go, and another large photo mat. This was fussy cut and this is a die cut. You can tell the textures are slightly different, but I think it still looks very good. And there's an ephemera card in the back of both of these. Okay, I created this one as a tuck spot, added this lady for interest. I've got um, a photo mat and then here is a card for additional photos. And then I just added a little piece of trim here to make it kind of interesting. I've added some uh, some string here. This is, it's not twine. Um, it's some kind of a waxed thread, uh, which is kind of a medium weight. It looked a little better than this, looked a little too harsh on this page for some reason. Okay, and again, another large photo mat covered on both sides. And then right here, this was too large. Um, it was a die cut. So I fussy cut um, part of the edge off and tucked it in up here. Okay, these are the die cuts. Um, this was fussy cut off one of um, the larger die cuts. And then um, I cut this one at an angle so that I could add a piece of it here to create some balance. Added a little piece of, um, it's not really lace. Uh, well, what would you call that? I guess they do call it lace on here. Anyway, um, this is from the die cuts as well in the background. So is the butterfly and the sunshine here. And I think these um, look so neat from the old style cameras. Another large photo mat covered on both sides. Here's page eight. This is a nice large um, die cut. So is this. And then again, I've got four um, dual sided um, cards in here for lots of additional photo space, or you can attach um, interesting um, uh, ephemera that you've collected, tickets, things like that, to the inside of these. So that is it for Life's Vignettes, Blue Fern. Loving it, loving it. I, I really can't tell you how much I like this paper. It feels so good in your hands. Okay, thanks everybody for tuning in. Again, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'll be back soon with my next project, which is... Um, uh, much anticipated Sparrow Hill. So that'll be coming up next. Thanks everybody for joining us here at Scrap and Create. Take a minute to like, share, and subscribe and head on over to our shop and check out what we've got. Um, we appreciate you taking time to share with us at our channel. And as always, we'll see you soon.